before I get into it, Chart Your Destiny Masterclass taking place in less than a week. Seven days, y'all. Next Sunday, Easter Sunday. All right, family. Shout out to everybody in the building that attended the last masterclass. If you're in the building and you attended my last masterclass in February, breaking down relationship potential, twin flame love potential in the in the chart, go ahead and throw some twos in the chat. If you attended that class and you feel like you grew from that class, I mean, if you feel like you mentally and spiritually expanded in that class, just to give a little testimony of what we're doing over there. All right, that's more of like an exclusive Bible study. All right, guys. So listen, it's we we finna get back into that vibe. We finna cultivate another dope, empowering vibe, guys. It's airy season, it's self-identity evolution season. And this master class is designed for everybody to be able to identify their talents, hidden gifts, and life purpose in the birth chart. We're gonna define what gifts and talents even is. And what purpose even is before we start getting into it? Because these are broad words we throw around for real when it comes into understanding our spiritual identity. So we need to understand how we've developed these things, how to identify these things. We're going to be identifying the karma that be in the way because a lot of us got placements that are, you know, we brought some experience here. We have a talent or a gift, but we might have a planet. We might have an alignment that's actually bringing karma to that influence. So it's not only are we talented here, not only are we gifted here. But we're dealing with more resistance because we might have manifested some influences in the past like that. We were playing around with our gifts. So now we got to overcome some karma being able to show application. I've never been this active doing readings in the past 60 days, 60 to 90 days. And the more active I am being able to interact with you guys, that helps my studies. And I'm learning that so many of us have came down here to experience certain things. We all came down here to experience, but a lot of us are down here because of application. This is why some of you guys only have planets in like three houses. This is why you look at your chart like, damn, boy, I only got planets in these houses. What that mean? Y'all be ready. Y'all be ready to complain about everything. <laughs> I don't, there's five houses, no planets. What am I supposed to do? Brother, sister, relax. All right. That, you don't even know that's a good or a bad thing. All right, what it means, just tell me my life crazy in this mug. Baby mama driving me crazy, brother. Don't blame the empty houses on your baby mama. Your baby mama ain't got nothing to do with you not having no planets in the third house. You hear what I'm saying, family? Okay? But yes, I can't wait for this. Okay? It's, yeah, once again, for everybody that just gave some testimonies that were in my previous class, y'all know how much, y'all could tell how much time and effort goes into these uh, courses because I don't want to miss any steps. All right. I want you guys to be able to look back on these master classes and courses for years down to come. All right. Some of you guys been into astrology for a while now and look how look how you're still dissecting your chart. You're still we're gonna continue to always unlock new properties to our birth chart, especially all the different forms of charts that we have. We have our solar return chart, we have progressions, our perfect understanding our perfection years, we got our transits. All right, I may, I may have some Vedic intuitives in the building. Shout out to my Vedic astrologers. All right. So, family, I can't wait to build with y'all. Uh, seats are still available. All right. Link is in the description. Taking place Easter Sunday. I want to see y'all bring out y'all fits, too. I, I want to see y'all fits. Don't turn that Zoom camera off. Do not play yourself. We're not playing. We, let me see your Easter suit and your Easter dress. Y'all remember we used to try to get fly as hell for Easter Sunday. Niggas wearing white ups with suits. Ooh, stop playing. All right, guys, but this is going to be a, dive, a, a deep dive. I mean, we're we breaking down everything from the purpose of your sun placement to the nodes, to degrees, understanding the maturity of your degrees, fixed star systems, karma, aspects. Guys, we're, we're diving into it all, all right? We had interactive segments, all right, in my previous class. I even posted some of those interactive segments, reading certain people's charts in our previous master class. So it's going to be one of them ones. It's going to be one of them ones, all right? And I'm also going to be selecting two people, all right, for a nice general deep dive reading, more and emphasizing these very concepts, unlocking talents, purpose, and gift in the chart. All you got to do is grab a seat and make sure you repost, whether you repost on Twitter, you repost on Instagram, and make sure you tag a good brother. 
All right, so you could throw yourself up in that space. All right, family, listen, it's about to be crazy. It's about to be crazy. And the reason why this is the topic, because once again, this is the top of the new year. Aries is one of the most transformative seasons of the year. And I just want to make sure everybody is equipped, understanding how to take power, how to really grasp their tools and impose them on this realm. All right. 